We now welcome Adrian Rigby with the University of Houston, Victoria, here to talk to us about a program helping inspire students to get jobs after graduation. Welcome to the show. Yeah, thanks for having me. And so, Coach Rigby, may I? Sure, yeah. How long have you been in the crossroads? I think a while now. Quite, quite a few years, yeah. I've been, been here about 12 years now. And talk to us about your excitement about this program and how it is all connected to your involvement with the students. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I originally moved down here to, uh, to coach soccer programs and start the programs off at UHV. Since then, I've moved into an uh, administrative role as assistant AD. And then as a part of that, just, you know, we were bringing student athletes in, but we weren't really helping them out uh, with, with uh, jobs afterwards. So. Because of that, uh, we developed the, the Jobs After Graduation program where it just is a four-year program where it starts our freshman year. We implement a few things, you know, creating LinkedIn, working with the resume building services, uh, having guest speakers come in and talk to them about potential jobs. Uh, so it's just really something that's kind of snowballed over the years and has developed into a, a, good, a good resource for us over at UHV. And you get such a widespread of students on the soccer team. Yeah. International. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I'm, myself, I'm originally from Canada and, and was a student down here and, and enjoyed my time down here. And with that, I've really developed some, some good recruiting uh, networks around the world. Um, and we have about a third of the men's team is, is international. Uh, two thirds of it is from Texas. And then we have a few international girls as well. So I think it really adds to the, the classroom, but also adds uh, uh, some uh, outside perspective uh, on the classes that they take. And, 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 and it also helps with their networking for afterwards as well. And as a community, Victoria, they want those students to stay here. Yeah. So this program is c kind of helping create that bridge. Yeah. No, I, I've talked to a lot of uh, a lot of HR people in the last couple of days, and it's really one thing. Their their businesses spend a lot of time recruiting people from outside of Victoria to come work in Victoria, and with a lot of businesses here, they're they're finding value in this program because they can have a network and an audience here that already enjoys Victoria, uh, and they get hands on in terms of meeting them and kind of recruiting them while they're already here. And you're looking for speakers from the community. Correct, yeah. We've, we've got some events coming up this, this fall. Uh, we've got a few dates this fall that are available. We look for about four or five guest speakers that come in and, and talk to them. Uh, the student athletes, we have, have about 160 student athletes that attend these events. Um, and we look for, for people that are going to be in the same fields that our students are taking you know, classes in, whether it be business, education, any of the sciences, communications, that type of thing. And now there's going to be a, a, an even bigger sciences presence on the university campus. Yeah, yeah. With the, the new STEM building, we've, we've grown quite a bit over the last couple of years. So I think we're, we're adding about a building a year at this point. So uh, growth is good, um, you know, and, and, and hopefully the students are enjoying the growth as well. And, and it's adding to the community here in Victoria as well. Well, let's go ahead and share that information okay. for people in the community that may be interested in speaking and inspiring our students. November 17th and December 1st are the upcoming dates and you can email Coach Rigby at rigbya at uhv.edu or call 361-485-4418. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to say thank you again yeah. for your 10 plus years here in the yeah. crossroads. Wow. Thanks very much and thanks for all your, your coverage over the years as well. So appreciate it. Our pleasure. Yeah. And now it's time for our viewer poll review. Earlier this month, we asked, do you think the downtown master plan, or what do you think the downtown master plan will attract more? 30 of you say residents, 13 of you say tourists, and 88 of you said both. And another viewer poll we asked, are you satisfied with the propositions on the November 2nd special joint election ballot? 39 of you said you are satisfied, and 30 of you say you are not satisfied. Come to CrossroadsToday.com slash vote to take part in our viewer polls. And here's a look at what we're working on for you for next week. We hear from Victoria Casa and Keep Victoria Beautiful. Thank you for joining us for Victoria for Community Crossroads. And if you have an idea, email me at csdrain at victoriatelevision.com and you can catch Community Crossroads on our website. Have a great weekend.